Hi there, this is Matt with Grand Ventures. And today I'm at a location I've wanted to visit for a while. This is the Jimi Hendrix grave out at Greenwood Memorial Cemetery in Renton, Washington. Now I've been out here before, before he just had a grave site um, and a headstone, but since 2002, they actually erected a much broader memorial that has a gazebo and some other exhibits. So come along and join me on this adventure. Now, one thing about Jimi Hendrix is he's very influential and I've been a big fan of his for a long time. One of my first actual CDs when kind of transitioning from tapes was a live album of Jimi Hendrix. And ever since I listened to that, I was uh, smitten by both his guitar work and just the music in general. Some of my favorite songs are Hey Joe as well, The Wind Cries Mary. So I really enjoy his music even to this day. Unfortunately, Jimi Hendrix left us much too soon like a lot of artists. He was only 27 years old and it's reported that he had taken barbiturates and had asphyxiated on his vomit in the night. Um, he was said to have taken 18 times the recommended doses of sleeping pills and yeah, he never woke back up. Now, Jimi Hendrix died at age 27 and he is in part of what's called the 27 Club, which is a little grim and dark, but there are many artists that have died at age 27 to include Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, as well as Jimi Hendrix himself. They were all 27. And also I learned that Amy Winehouse was 27, as well as Kurt Cobain. And so all those musicians died at age 27. Now, there's no actual scientific proof that 27 is some sort of magic age. But unfortunate, you know, substance abuse and kind of hard living took them out. And so what a shame. But yeah, kind of interesting fact, all those people uh, leaving us at age 27, which is way too young, and what a waste of their magnificent talents. Now this is the actual gazebo, and as you can see on the side here, in stone it's got his signature, and in the middle here, his looks like some sort of metal guitar. Pretty interesting. On the bottom there, it says, forever in our hearts, James M. Jimi Hendrix, 1942 to 1970. Etched in stone on the wall behind. Got a saying there. It's kind of hard to read. Straight ahead, women and child, man and wife, the best love have is love of life. Pass it on. Here's an additional one. The story of life is quicker than the wink of an eye. History, hello, goodbye, until we meet again. There's the back side of the guitar. And also, another one that says, message to love, everybody come alive. Everybody love alive, everybody hear the message. And as you can see, may not translate well on camera, but there's it's like a lot of lipstick kisses there on Jimmy. And under the guitar, people have left some flowers, some pennies, 
looks like a, a pitcher got a some sort of note it says Jimmy you're the best guitarist in the world and even a little Mickey Mouse was left there now I visited the site probably in mid high school maybe I don't know 96 1997 and back then it was just a headstone I remember there was a bunch of guitar picks and cigarette butts and like liquor bottles and other sort of drug paraphernalia left there I don't know if it's like an homage to him but there's a sign out front that says keep this area clean don't leave a bunch of stuff and so this area is actually pretty clean right now now one thing I do remember when I visited before was the sundial that was close to the grave it's kind of an overcast day not too much of a shadow on it but this is right in front of the gazebo there and initially I didn't notice this but walk going up to it the sides of it are kind of a purple walkway there's a couple other graves here there's a Nora Hendrix a Gracie Hendrix Hatcher and additionally husband James A Hendrix and wife Ayoko and what's nice is this area is open to the public anybody can walk up here and check this out um, and I was looking on the website it says it's open almost 24 hours a day it had uh, some weird numbers like 11:30 p.m. to 4 a.m. are closed for the cemetery but outside of that time you can come and take a look and a fun fact in 1969 Jimi Hendrix was considered to be the highest paid rock musician out there this was kind of the height of his powers during the Woodstock era and he was definitely on top of the time well that was the Jimi Hendrix Memorial a cool location easy to get to off the freeway on the 405 um, come check it out it's definitely if you're a fan of music history as well as his music and or rock it's a neat place to check out it's well maintained it's easily accessible and kind of cool to play homage to a wonderful musician that was taken from us much too soon we enjoy bringing you this type of content location videos travel videos if you like this as well give us a big thumbs up that definitely helps the channel additionally if you're not a subscriber, please do and smash that bell. That way you can join us on our next adventure. We also have a Patreon now. $5 a month will get you a personalized postcard from a location we visited. And we hope you join us on our next adventure. Thanks for watching. And for those of you that are Jimi Hendrix fans, leave a comment below as to your favorite song. Mine, I would have to say, is probably The Wind Cries Mary. Good stuff.